The Earth is a unique planet. Its domain extends to a layer of air that surrounds it, containing oxygen and other gases essential for life on Earth. Another domain extends to oceans. These oceans add water vapor to the air, a fact that makes water available on land. The climatic conditions caused rock disintegration. It resulted in the formation of soil, which forms a vital part of the Earth's crust. Thus, the four realms are interactive and cannot be separated from each other. These domains or realms are lithosphere, land, hydrosphere, water, atmosphere, air, and biosphere, life. The Four Domains of the Earth The Earth is a unique planet. Its domain extends to a layer of air that surrounds it, containing oxygen and other gases essential for life on Earth. Another domain extends to oceans. These oceans add water vapor to the air, a fact that makes water available on land. The Four Domains of the Earth The presence of water is essential for all forms of life to survive on Earth. Plants cannot grow or live without water. Interior of the Earth The interior of the Earth has three chief layers known as the crust, the mantle, and the core. Each of these three layers has two divisions. The crust, the upper mantle, and the core together make up the lithosphere. The lower mantle is in a semi-molten condition it extends towards the interior of the Earth to a distance of about 2,900 kilometers. Beneath the mantle lies the core. The upper part of the core is said to be in liquid state, but most of the interior is solid. The Continents The continuous land masses of the globe are known as the continents. There are seven continents. Asia. Asia is the biggest continent. It requires about one-third of the total land of the earth, Europe. Europe lies to the west of the continent of Asia. Europe and Asia are a continuous single land mass and is known as Eurasia. Africa The second largest continent is Africa. The equator runs almost halfway through this continent. North America It is the world's third largest continent. The continents of North America and South America are linked by a narrow stretch of land across Panama. This narrow stretch of land is known as the Isthmus of Panama. South America The major part of South America lies in the southern hemisphere. The Andes Mountains, which is the world's longest range, and the river Amazon, is the world's largest river run through this continent. Australia This continent is situated in the southern hemisphere. It is the smallest continent and is often referred to as the island continent as it is surrounded by oceans on all sides. Antarctica it is the southernmost continent. The South Pole lies at the center of the continent of Antarctica and it remains covered by deep snow throughout the year. India has set up 
two research centers here, which are Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri. The Earth is a unique planet. Its domain extends to a layer of air that surrounds it, containing oxygen and other gases essential for life on Earth. Another domain extends to oceans. These oceans add water vapor to the air, a fact that makes water available on land. The climatic conditions caused rock disintegration. It resulted in the formation of soil, which forms a vital part of the Earth's crust. Thus, the four realms are interactive and cannot be separated from each other. These domains or realms are lithosphere, land, hydrosphere, water, atmosphere, air, and Biosphere Life Hydrosphere The sphere of water, especially the water in the oceans, is known as the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is divided into four major parts, oceans, several seas, and lakes. Oceans account for a little more than 70% of the Earth's total surface area. In terms of volume, 96.5% of the Earth's total water is found in the oceans. Hydrosphere The water changes its state, liquid, solid or gaseous. In liquid form, it exists in oceans, rivers, lakes. Hydrosphere Underground reservoirs form a part of all living things. In its solid state, it exists as ice sheets or snow cover on mountain tops and as glaciers or ice sheets at the Arctic and Antarctic ice caps. Hydrological cycle. Since ocean water comprises of more than 96.5% of the total volume of water on Earth, it is this very water that becomes available on land through a natural process called the water cycle or the hydrological cycle. The sun is mainly responsible for circulation of water in the hydrosphere. The water in oceans is heated by solar radiation during the daytime. This heating of water makes water vapor which then rises into the atmosphere. This is known as evaporation. The cool air cannot hold the same amount of water vapor as warm air. If the air is too cold, crystals of ice may form. This conversion of water vapor into tiny droplets or ice crystals is known as condensation. Tiny droplets float in the air, join together around dust particles and form clouds. The heavier drops cluster together and fall back on the earth as rainfall or snowfall. Rainfall and snowfall together is called precipitation. Underground water reappears in the form of springs, wells, etc. Rivers and streams ultimately flow into the oceans, lakes and seas and the water cycle starts afresh. Oceans Oceans are the major part of hydrosphere. The three chief movements of ocean waters are the waves, the ocean currents and the tides. The five major oceans are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. 
the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean and spread over one third of the earth. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the earth and lies in the Pacific Ocean. It is almost circular in shape. Asia, Australia, North and South America surround it. The Atlantic Ocean It is the second largest ocean in the world. It is S in shape. It is flanked by the North and South Americas on the western side and Europe and Africa on the eastern side. The coastline of Atlantic Ocean is highly aligned. This unequal and aligned coastline provides ideal location for natural harbor and ports. Commercially, it is the busiest ocean. The Indian Ocean The Indian Ocean is the only ocean named after a country that is India. The shape of ocean is almost triangular. In the north, it is bound by Asia in the west by Africa and in the east by Australia. The Southern Ocean encloses the continent of Antarctica and extends northward to 60 degrees south latitude. The Arctic Ocean The Arctic Ocean is located within the Arctic Circle and surrounds the North Pole. It is bound by northern coasts of North America and Eurasia. It is connected with the Pacific Ocean by a narrow stretch of shallow water known as Bering Strait. The Earth is a unique planet. Its domain extends to a layer of air that surrounds it, containing oxygen and other gases essential for life on Earth. Another domain extends to oceans. These oceans add water vapor to the air, a fact that makes water available on land. The climatic conditions caused rock disintegration. It resulted in the formation of soil, which forms a vital part of the Earth's crust. Thus, the four realms are interactive and cannot be separated from each other. These domains or realms are lithosphere, land, hydrosphere, water, atmosphere, air, and biosphere, life. Atmosphere Air is a mixture of various gases. The main constituents of air are nitrogen, 78%, oxygen, 21%, carbon dioxide and other gases, 1%. Among other gases, carbon dioxide content is just 0.03%. Water vapor is also found at lower levels of the atmosphere. Plants use it to make food, along with other inputs, sunlight, water, minerals, with chlorophyll acting as a catalyst. It is necessary for all animals, including humans, to breathe oxygen in order to stay alive. Oxygen is also found in the soil. Plants take in this oxygen through their roots along with water and nitrogen. 
atmospheric pressure. Air always moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. This horizontal movement of air is called wind. Winds cause changes in weather conditions and bring rainfall. For example, in summers, because of low pressure over land, winds move from the Indian Ocean towards the Indian landmass. Since these are moisture-laden winds, they cause heavy monsoon rainfall throughout India. Structure of Atmosphere Air around the earth is like a shield and is made up of several layers. There are five important layers. These layers together act as a protective shield around the earth. This layered structure is also responsible for keeping the earth warm at night. The upper layer does not allow the bulk of harmful radiation from the sun or outer space example gamma rays and ultraviolet rays to reach the earth's surface. The earth is a unique planet. Its domain extends to a layer of air that surrounds it containing oxygen and other gases essential for life on Earth. Another domain extends to oceans. These oceans add water vapor to the air, a fact that makes water available on land. The climatic conditions caused rock disintegration. It resulted in the formation of soil which forms a vital part of the Earth's crust. Thus, the four realms are interactive and cannot be separated from each other. These domains or realms are lithosphere, land, hydrosphere, water, atmosphere, air, and biosphere, life. Biosphere the narrow zone of contact between land, air, and water is called the biosphere. It is within this zone that life exists. Thus, biosphere is the zone where the three realms and the biosphere itself exist. There is constant exchange of energy between the biosphere and the other three realms of the earth. Biosphere Dinosaurs lived on Earth a long time ago. About 65 million years ago, there were sudden and drastic changes in the environment. The dinosaurs could not adapt to these changes and soon became extinct. It was now that mammals finally got a chance to develop and spread quickly in many forms. Thus, many new life forms, including man, came into being. This natural process goes on endlessly. Man and Environment Land, air, and water, including the land forms, plants, and animals that surround us, together constitute physical environment. Rapid Population Growth The world population keeps doubling every 15 to 20 years. Since the land area is the same and other resources are scarce, this puts a heavy pressure on land. Deforestation Cutting down of forests is a direct result of the growing human population. Forests are essential for maintaining the balance of gases in the air. Trees provide food and shelter for animals. When trees are cut down, animals are forced out of their home. Pollution Many activities of human beings are spoiling the surroundings. These include a large number of transport vehicles, factories, 
use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides in agriculture, generation of huge quantities of waste in kitchens, laboratories, factories, offices, hospitals, etc. Soil erosion Apart from the flow of wastes into the surroundings, the increasing demand for food puts a heavy pressure on agriculture which thus affects the quality of soil.